Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about five altcoins that I think can really blow up, you know, anytime there is a, an, an altcoin bull run, and much more than the top altcoins. These are smaller coins, and these aren't ones that we talk about regularly. So, like, coins like VET, um, you know, BAT, XRP, they're not going to be in this list. We're going for those, like, 100x, 1,000x potentials. These are very small cap coins, which means it doesn't take a lot of money to actually blow them up. Because, you know, if you're a coin with 3 million market cap and you become 300 million, that is 100x. And it doesn't really take all that much money. Whereas, you know, with a coin with a billion dollar market cap to get 100x, you need $100 billion, which takes a lot more money. Now, these coins also have a lot more risk. But these five actually have partnerships and several of them have events coming up that could trigger a bull, uh, somewhat of a bull run in November or you know December or whatnot. And um, we know that we're kind of getting to the end of the uh, altcoin bear market because the Bitcoin dominance is starting to fall. Now we haven't confirmed that yet because Bitcoin hasn't really risen a couple thousand points and we haven't seen if the altcoins can actually keep up once Bitcoin rises. But take a look at these five coins you can hold on if you can afford to hold on to them for a couple of months or a year or two you, it might um, result in lots of massive gains i can't really predict when the fomo is but these partnerships for these smaller coins make them you know great targets uh, for you to get 100x or more so the fifth one i'm going to imagine um, mention is fact tom i mentioned this on stream a lot but it's not one of the major coins we talk about. It just got a um, $200,000 grant via TFA Labs. TFA Labs actually got a $200,000 grant to secure the U.S. energy grid. And there's going to be more. Um, there's actually going to be more coming from that because obviously you can't secure the U.S. energy grid for only $200,000. TFA Labs is going to use FATOM protocol, and it's F A C T O M F C T symbol um, for actually the u.s energy grid and it wants to secure the u.s energy supply via this protocol and that's a really big deal because you're going to be using this protocol and possibly this coin and that kind of news will actually generate a lot of fomo once things start running if like you know a big organization like you know the u.s department of energy wants to use the protocol that would get people to notice it and people would fomo in now fact time is also pretty illiquid it doesn't really have that much supply which means once people start buying it, the price is going to go up very, very quickly because, you know, there's not going to be that many offers for uh, sell orders and people are going to buy up those sell orders. If you only have about, you know, 30, 40,000 um, worth of volume a day, that becomes pretty liquid. Now, the other half of that is once you start seeing start seeing this coin being bought up to a really high amount, you will want to sell because if it's illiquid, there's not too many buy orders as well. And once people FOMO in and people are like, hey, you know what? I want to take some profit. It's going to fall down very fast too. But it has the chance to go up very fast within a couple of days and then come down very fast. So you will want to start at, the, you will want to sell at the top. The fourth one is DAG, Constellation. There's a lot of DAGs, but this one's Constellation. It has a partnership with a US Air Force and um, they're using their DLT technology with a recent commercial partnership. Um, it says blockchain form constellation announced a partnership with the US Air Force to help automate the armed forces branch of big data management so they're doing data management for the US Air Force that's something that could get really people uh, really get people talking to everyone knows who the Air Force is and uh, if you're working with the US government in any capacity and you're a small coin dude that could really really pump your coin extremely high so DAG constellation definitely worth a look at the third one is AGI um, and this one does artificial intelligence. AGI is the symbol and they're run by a lot of really smart people and they just partner with Cisco systems doing AI and robotics. Now the CEO says this, the partnership goes very deep and they're going to be working with Cisco for many years, which means they actually might help Cisco produce some products. And plus, if you have Cisco systems, that means you have customers lined up to use your AI um, intelligence and they're going to actually use the token. Uh, they're actually going to use the token to actually um, purchase these AI services. So this is actually a very good investment. It's a little more speculative because I don't really know, um, you know, what kind of real products that AGI is actually going to come up with uh, during this time. But 
Because the Cisco Systems is a multi-year project, I do expect FOMO coming in because Cisco is a huge, huge company. It's well known in the industry and people will be chatting about this and they might actually get more partnerships with more um, you know, technology companies now that they've partnered with Cisco. So definitely a big market there and AGI is very small. Uh, so that kind of partnership could really get people to FOMO in and once again, pump up the coin a lot because it's the market cap is pretty low right now so you know a partnership with cisco even if it goes into you know like the hundreds like a hundred million market cap that's at least like 10x your investment on agi the fourth one is chx um, and that's the symbol as well they just got a partnership uh, it's called own one uh, own coin not one coin one coin's a scam it's own coin and um chx got a partnership with a bank in Liechtenstein. everyone loves Liechtenstein for some reason and uh, but the bank in Liechtenstein is one of the larger ones and they've partnered with CHX to come up with new products and services that can be pretty big for a coin that's like three million dollars in market cap even if it goes to like you know fifty million dollars in market cap that's 13 or 14 X and in a boron I think that's very easy to do if they have a big banking partnership like this one now the thing is I've also heard rumors that CHX actually has some North American banks as partnerships. I have not been able to confirm that but if those confirmations actually come through um, if those confirmations actually come through you know within the next couple of weeks next couple of months it could pump up this coin even more um, you know like if it's this is found even if it's like a mid-size couple of mid-size North American banks um, you know, a coin with 3 million market cap down in the 500s in rank doesn't have much going for it right now, but the Liechtenstein partnership is big and other banking partnerships will be will actually reflect in a much more grander way on this particular partnership than, you know, with Cardano or Ripple because those are already worth billions of dollars in market cap. So people are going to see, you know, another partnership for those coins is not as big deal as a breakthrough partnership for this coin, even if they are the same company. Even if you pump the same amount of money in uh, for those partnerships, this particular coin will actually go up a lot more percentage wise. So CHX own coin, definitely something to go look towards. The number one is we've talked about this a lot, QNT. And it's actually number one on the list for a specific reason, because it, ha it actually they've, they say they have announcements regarding a central bank coming up sometime in November and also a lot some bank in Australia they were actually at CBOS they are number 62 they're still outside the top 50 the market cap for QNT is quite a lot bigger than the other ones I talked about but they have a lot bigger news like many people say it's more than one central bank but even if it is one central bank committing to their software it that could FOMO up the price quite a bit in then like during the month of November they have several big bombshells that they're actually going to drop uh, it seems like they're gonna drop in November um, and that's actually going to FOMO though that price up quite a bit in the month of November if things go well now if Bitcoin keeps dropping like they might not do so well but once the altcoin market starts rising QNT I think will be in for big things. Remember, they rose to like almost nine dollars just off CBOS, and they rose off fifteen dollars off the SIA partnership, which, by the way, still exists. I think the FOMO just got too much, and the utility couldn't keep up because implementation takes time. But once these things get start getting implemented, once they announce that partnership with like the Australian bank, some kind of central bank, I think it's probably going to be in Europe. That could really take QNT off. So that's why uh, they're at the top of this five. Uh, smaller altcoins list that can make you a lot of money now once again all these coins are quite risky and dangerous but if you want the reward of a hundred a thousand x you got to take the risk i would not suggest you put like a hundred percent or even like you know 60 percent or something of your money in these small coins but allocate 30 percent or so for these smaller coins because these have the biggest roi return these have the biggest roi potential and they're going to be quite a bit bigger than the bigger coins like XRP, ETH, BTC, because the uh, just the cap on those coins is going to prevent them from going like a hundred or a thousand X. You're not going to get you know hundreds of trillions of dollars in market cap uh, for any coin, but these coins have a chance from jumping up to from like ten million to like a billion dollars. That's much easier to jump from ten million to a billion than it is to jump from like you know twenty billion to twenty trillion or something like that. So these are the coins you should be looking at. These are the ones that can really, really go up in value very quickly. 
and uh, you should be allocating some of your money um, to these smaller coins. If you have any other gems, please let me know. I'm looking for small gems with good partnerships. Uh, let me know what you think in the description. I mean, let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe, and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.